Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca. So yesterday I went thrifting and I found some decor pieces. Um, there's going to be a couple of them that I can leave as is. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I incorporate it in my house. And then there's a couple of other pieces that I really need to make over. <laughs> After I'm done with everything, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it in my home and decorate with it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to show you uh, exactly what I picked up. I went to my nearest Goodwill and I looked in the whole store and I just picked up anything that I thought I could use. The first thing I'm going to show you is this cute little vase. I'm not sure if it is a vase, but I'm going to use it for that. When I seen it, I really love the design on the outside and the color is so pretty. And this was only $1.99. Then I found this really nice pitcher. It's just a clear glass pitcher and I thought it looked very antique-ish. The way the spout looks, I really like that. As soon as I seen it, I picked it up and this piece, is it was $2.99. So obviously this is another piece I'm gonna leave just like that. Okay, and then I have this beautiful <laughs> butterfly piece right here or butterfly and floral piece so it has like two pockets i can really put anything in there whatever i want so as soon as i seen it i knew i could use it i'm just gonna remove the little butterfly and flowers it's like screwed in right there so i'm gonna remove that remove this right here and then i'm gonna paint it and i believe i'm gonna be putting some flowers inside of this Okay, and it's kind of heavy, so um, $3.99. And it's not even that big. It's kind of small. I'm going to compare it to the picture right there. And then I picked up this piece. It just has four knobs on it, and this was $2.99. I feel like I could leave it like this if I wanted to. I don't really have to do anything to it because I feel like it looks kind of rustic. And when I hang it up and you know decorate with it and put some pieces on there i think it'll look really nice but i am gonna paint it and i'm gonna hang some stuff on it so let's go ahead and get started so i washed the picture out really well on the little vase i have this little decor tray that i'm gonna set on one of my counters in the kitchen but i'm actually showing it to you right here on my dining table just because the lighting is better right here just set these two pieces together so in the glass vase, obviously that could be used for many things. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these wooden spoons in there. Okay, if you would like to do this, they I picked up this set of spoons. I believe it came with more than that. I think it was like maybe nine pieces from Walmart for um, like seven or eight bucks, which is under a dollar each spoon or if you want less spoons they have wooden utensils at the dollar tree for a dollar each so maybe if you only want three or four you can pick them up from there and then the little vase right here i'm just gonna add some little tulips i purchased a while back from dollar i'm um, sorry from target dollar spot so just like that really simple but it looks really pretty Okay, so here I have the, I believe this is a coat rack. I'm pretty sure this is what it was, but I'm gonna use it for something different. I have a perfect place for it where I've been needing some type of decor. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the prize. I'm gonna kind of sand down a little bit of the like edges and stuff, and then I'm gonna start painting it. So I'm just taking, you know, I have some sandpaper here. Um, they have some cheap sandpaper at Walmart. This was not even probably like two bucks and I know it's for the machine But I'm gonna use it I'm gonna hand sand it Okay, so I just finished sanding down uh, Just the edges and the sides. I really didn't do anything to the top. Um, I have my apple barrel paints right there you guys know I always use these paints especially the black and brown paint. 
So I have the pavement paint right here, and then I have the brown paint, and the name of that is Nutmeg Brown. Now I'm just taking some Dollar Tree sponge brushes. So sorry my hands are a little ashy. It's just because I was using the sandpaper. Okay, so I have that one coat down. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more coat to the top of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna be painting the little knobs. I'm gonna sand some of this down just to reveal some of that lighter brown color underneath. Okay, so this is where I currently have the hooks. I just hung them up with some command strip tape. Um, I love, love, love using that because I don't like putting holes in uh, my walls. So it's just next to the console table right here. I've always needed something right here and this is perfect for that area. So now I'm gonna add just a couple of things right there. On the left side, the left hook right here I'm gonna add this piece I love that basket I got that from Hobby Lobby 75% off clearance sale that is still going on right now so I'm just gonna put a stem of lavender in there just like that and I think that looks really pretty already and then the second thing I'm gonna add to that and this fabric I picked up this fabric um, a while back I've used some of it to make pillows and you know a bunch of different things so I've just been having this piece I'm just gonna take the corner put it over that and that is how I'm gonna leave it for now okay so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and go and make over the last little piece that I found from Goodwill Like I said, take off these pieces on top of here. So I'm just going to take a screwdriver and take that off. I cleaned it as best as I could. Now I'm just going to go over these holes and with the sandpaper and just flatten it out a little bit. So I'm going to paint the whole thing black. I'm not going to go all the way down inside with the paint. I'm just going to go a quarter of the way. Hmm. Okay, so I just finished the first coat. Now I'm just going to let it dry and then apply the second coat. Okay, so sorry for the noise in the background. I tried to cover these holes. Well, first I tried to cover it with the paint and it honestly looked better than what it looks right now. I should have just left it like that because then I tried uh, hot glue and then I rubbed it away and then it just made it look worse. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So now what I wanna do is just use these stencils that I bought from Walmart, I believe, a while back. It's gonna say Fresh Flowers Market on here. I also have a bunch of stencils linked in my Amazon store if you want to check that. And what I'm gonna do is just use some tape to stick them all together. That way they don't move while I'm stenciling them on here. You can use sponge brushes. Uh, they sell a big pack at the Dollar Tree. So I have my brush and I'm gonna take off a lot of the paint. That way it won't bleed through. I already started on the edge. I'm just gonna just do one coat and then, and then I'll go over it again with the second coat. So I removed the stencil for that. Now I'm gonna do uh, flowers underneath it.
And I just touched up the little areas of my finger where I got the white, the gray paint on. How pretty does that look, you guys? I really love the way this one turned out. It's so pretty. I'm just adding some Dollar Tree flowers to the inside of it. With this little piece, I definitely thought outside of the box because something like this, I was originally thinking about maybe using it as kind of like a mailbox or maybe in a command center, which would be perfect for that. But I'm so happy I decided to decorate it this way. So I hope you enjoyed these thrift store makeovers and finds. I really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos and let me know if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.